Okay, good evening, friends. Today's class, we shall be revising phrases and clauses. It's an important uh, part when it comes to grammar points. It's not uh, just from exam point of view. From grammar point of view, it's an important topic. First, we should have a look into clauses. Clause. In okay, a class, in the CLASS, where is class? CLAUSE. -E. வார்த்தைக்கு <laughs> Right. So we we'll say it as a dependent clause. And that is the solution. We have used that word over there. So one sentence is dependent on other sentence. It is definitely having a subject and verb, but it is not giving a complete meaning. And depending on other sentence. That is, when the sentence only in our sentence and the market is on the so that we call it as dependent clause. I came home from school. My mother offered me a samosa. My school and my mother took a I came home and I had a samosa. So, me and my mother had a samosa. I என்ன <laughs> You can write any sentence after this, right? But just saying this one single sentence, will I be able to give a complete meaning? I need one more sentence. Then only this sentence will be complete. So, this first half of the sentence is having a subject. And verb, I reach home from school. So if at all this thing is in there at all, this will be a dependent clause. ஒரு 
sentence will be starting with the words such as when during while in dependent clause in the sentence are me kathi while i was driving the car my friend fell asleep na car ootin the bodu while i was driving the car my friend fell asleep ennodi friend number thungi poita my friend fell asleep that is a independent clause was very expensive no vela adhigama which was very expensive here the dependent clause is coming in the second half of the sentence which was very expensive idhu vandu romba vela adhigama irundhadu can write any sentence but all i write only this sentence i will tell this as a Dependent clause, and I am requiring one more sentence to give a complete meaning to it. Have you bought a new phone? 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 It is giving a complete meaning also. So this becomes independent clause. I'm going to do. I'm going to write three to four sentences, and please let me know which half of the sentence is a dependent clause and which is an independent clause. And I'll check whether you are able to identify which is dependent and which is independent.
three sentences. Let me know which half of the sentence is a dependent clause and which half of the sentence is independent clause. Let me know first sentence in AD, dependent clause B, C, in AD, the sentence of A, in AD. It is understood that the second half of the sentence or the other half of the sentence will be independent clause. I'll give you two to three minutes time. Think and let me know. Please give a try. Giving a break, okay, let me answer from it. While I was watching TV, there was noise from outside. On TV, while I was watching TV, different class, a TV part of the world, a point not chip, who did he do a sucker on the very end? This becomes independent class. The independent class, sir, you know, a bar for you. It is also called as main class. If you don't study well, you won't get good mark. If you don't get good marks, this is independent class. In both these sentences, dependent classes. I have come in the first half of the sentence. This is independent class. Though Sunday plays me, he is not selected for finding much. Amanda Valeri Namundi. Well, match it is, then we will go to the This is independent class, B, C, A, D. This is independent class, A, C. Okay. Now we will see three kinds of dependent class. We have adjective, adverb and noun class.
there something more about the verb is adverb adjective that which modifies a noun noun pathina or koodirana tharuval solluna ad adjective a beautiful pen alagana pen pen or noun the noun and a pen are eppadi patta pen nu solra vaarthai eduva irukku or alagana pen a beautiful pen long board book is very good ilamana book long lengthy book a lengthy paper something which modifies a noun is adjective and something told more about a verb he was driving very slowly driving is the verb eppadi ootina rombave meduva ootina very slowly no noun plus விதமானே the person at table mein la vechen no work that i left on the table belongs to my friend adhi ennodeya number odiye adhu belongs to my friend the purse that i left on the table eda vandu na table mein la vechen no eda na vandu table mein la vechen the purse this work that i left on the table becomes adjective plus which one in the vidam in the maadhiyana gives more information about the verb so sorry describes or gives more information about the verb here we use the word what time how many itana endha maathriyana inge endha mari kelvigal kekkudona அப்பா வாட்ச் கொடுத்திருக்கிறது 
for one or two minutes and let me know whether it is a phrase or a clause. One phrase, two clause, whatever you guys have been saying. She works hard every day. It is a clause. This is the subject, it is having a verb. I am not asking whether it is a dependent or independent. It is a verb and independent clause. It is a verb and it is a verb. It is a verb and it is a verb. After a good day. After a good day. This is just group of words which is not having any subject or predicate. It is a verb. That is why this is a phrase. It's just a group of words. After a good day. If I need to help you, I want to know what you are saying. This is a class. Here I am class. Subject is it. Help in the water. So this is a class. It is having a subject as well as a predicate. At the session, it will be not a bad way. Before the next session, this is also phrase. It is just group of words without any subject or verb. Okay. I guess you have been able to identify whether a given sentence is a phrase or clause. And the given sentence is a dependent or independent clause. Okay. okay. Before I end today's session, we shall have a small motivational video recording pause for the class. So I shall be ending my session over here. We will continue in the next class. Thank you so much all of you for attending the class. Thank you.